Hi guys, I'm Finn, and I'm here to show you how to add schedules to an employer profile. There are four ways in adding a schedule. One is using the schedule template, two is using the custom scheduler, three using the schedule calendar, and lastly using the weekly scheduler. So the first option in adding a schedule is the schedule template. The schedule template can be found under the employee profile. On the employee profile, click on the schedules. Click on add a new schedule and then select the start and end date. So the schedule template is mainly used for plotting schedules in a long period of time. On the schedule type, this is where you could select um, the two options for adding schedules, which is the schedule template and the custom scheduler. And custom schedule, this is where you could customize the different shifts per day. Other than that, you could also select um, the work sites, which is mainly used for bis uh, for companies who are in retail business. Once you're done, uh, you could lock the changes that you've made and then click on create. So the third option in creating schedules is by using the schedule calendar. The schedule calendar can be found on the employee profile as well. The schedule calendar is used for updating schedules for a particular day. It is also used for setting up paid day offs and unpaid day offs. So if you want to customize a schedule, let's say um, the employee requested for a change of shift um, tomorrow, Select on the day that you want to edit, click on custom schedule, and then edit the shift. So on editing shifts, you can see here the date, the day type, um, the secondary day type, if you need rest days, the work site, um, and then the shifts. So when editing a shift on the schedule calendar, you could set up the day type and the secondary day type. The day types can be a regular day, a special holiday, or a regular holiday. The default day type is a regular day, while the secondary day type can be um, a rest day. So once you have set up the date type and the secondary date type, you could also select the work site and then select the shift. Um, if you need to customize a shift or if the shift that you wanted is not on the list, you could type in the shift items. So if you go to the schedule calendar, you will notice that the schedule was updated and it turned into a green marker. So if you want to set up paid and unpaid day offs, uh, we could simply click on the day, click on day of paid, and as you can see on the schedule calendar, it automatically up updates from a regular schedule to a day of paid schedule.
Now, if you wanted to set two or more days for a paid day off, you could do that by selecting the checkbox, click on the actions tab, and click on day off pay. And that's it for, and that's how you create the paid day offs. So the fourth option in adding a schedule is on the scheduling page. The scheduling page can be found under the employees tab. So the scheduling page is usually called um, the weekly scheduler. As, as you can see, it is a weekly view of the employee schedules. So what's best about the weekly scheduler is that you could select as many day as you want and as many employees that you want to edit. Now, once you have selected the days and the employees, click on the Actions tab to either customize the schedule or set it to a paid day off. If you click on Customize Schedule, so it's basically the same thing as the Schedule Calendar where you can set up the different day types, uh, the secondary day type, the work sites, or set up a shift. Click on done and the system would automatically update all the shifts per day and per employee. Other than customizing the shift, if you want to revert it back to its default um, schedule, just click on reset to default and it would basically undo all the schedules that you've made. Other than customizing a shift, you could also set days to be labeled as paid day offs. On the weekly scheduler, you could also filter it by shift or filter it by worksite. So that's how you create schedules. If you want to know more about Payroll Hero, contact us at support at payrollhero.com. Thanks for watching!